Hello once again. So today, how about some expressions using the word track? The image here on the first slide, that's a train track. So think about the connection in these expressions with track. It's probably going to have a connection of, let's say, direction, going forward, something like that. So there's a nice hint for you. A track record. This is a reference to some kind of history that someone has. I don't mean history in the sense of history books, but perhaps um, some experiences that someone has had or work. Now this expression is often preceded by an adjective or it should be preceded by an adjective so we know what kind of track record this person has. So a good track record, a bad track record, or even a stronger adjective, um, terrible, exemplary, something like that. So let's say that someone has a really uh, successful career in technology. Then we could say that um, his or her track record in the tech industry um, that he has a very good track record in the tech industry. Or, to use a negative, if someone maybe has a few failed marriages, we could say that their um, track record with, with marriage is poor, or they have a bad track record. This next expression is about, um, we can use it to describe an area, which that's quite typical with this expression, or even a person. So if we say that someone comes from the other side or the wrong side of the tracks, think about a railroad going through a town. Um, perhaps one side of this uh, railroad track is quote unquote the good part of town and the other side is the bad part of town. So this bad part of town may be higher crime, um, more impoverished, less money. This expression could also have a racist history. I'm not sure, but that's something that you could Google. And the third one today, to cover one's tracks. Make a note of this image. This is a kind of a silly cartoon of a criminal. So if you need to cover your tracks, this is something like you're hiding um, evidence or you're hiding something that you've done. So if you don't want someone to know something that you've done, you need to cover tracks. You could certainly read this in uh, news about crime, criminals, someone trying to hide information. This one, despite the word dead, this, it doesn't involve a dead person. Um, dead in someone's tracks or to stop someone dead in their tracks. So remember what I said earlier about tracks being uh, direction or going forward. So this has the, the meaning that someone, the, the movement has, has stopped, it has ceased. So maybe if you, you're walking down the street and you see something terrible happen, you would likely stop walking down the street. So you would be stopped dead in your tracks. What? don't know how to continue. To track somebody or to track something down. This is a really good phrasal verb. Um, when we track something down, we are looking for, we're trying to find or we're trying to investigate something. So if you need to find a document and you probably have to look through a lot of papers at your house, 
can say that uh, you need to track down that certain document. Or another, uh, maybe I'll make a reference to crime again. If the police are searching for uh, an individual who's suspected of a crime, they need to track him down. This film reference, The Fugitive, it's a great movie. Um, Tommy Lee Jones, who's a US Marshal in this film, he is trying to track down Harrison Ford's character. So he's trying to find this, uh, this man in the film. So those are our expressions with track. Maybe you can mm, learn them and start using them in your everyday English. Okay, that's all. Until next time, bye-bye.